there may be people that may say to me that they read the Bible, they pray, they teach people about the Bible, they feed the poor, they minister to people, they do all of these good things that the Bible tells us to do. Then they may say, well, they do all of these things, but bad things seem to still happen to them. So let's go to 2 Timothy 3 and 12. To the left is the King James Version. To the right is the Expanded Bible. Yea, and all that will live godly in Christ Jesus shall suffer persecution. So what does persecution mean? Some people may not know what it means. Okay. Hostility and ill treatment, especially because of race or political or religious beliefs. So this is saying some people are going to treat you wrongly because you are a servant of God. There are some people who are going to do this to you. And if you choose to live for God, hey, bad things are just going to happen to you. And you may ask me, well, when I don't live for God, you say that curses are going to come to me. So when I do live for God, you are saying bad things are going to happen to me. So why should I live for God when bad things are going to happen to me either way? Well, for one, <laughs> when you die, you won't go to hell if you live for God. <laughs> that is a huge one. Two, yes, bad things are going to happen to you either way, but when you are disobedient to God, worse things are going to happen to you. And more consistently. Does that make any sense? So if bad things are going to happen to you, why not choose the option where it is not going to be as bad and as often? Does that make any sense? Like, if you have to feel pain, why not feel less pain and less often? Like, you won't say, well, since I have to feel pain, hey, just go ahead and break my back and break my neck and <laughs> break my toes and fingers and stuff like that. Since I have to feel pain, let me feel like the worst pain or the worst pain. No one would say that unless, you know, they are insane or something like that. So what I am trying to say, since you are going to have to feel pain anyways, how about choose the option where you are going to feel less pain and less often? Because I know for myself, I don't like feeling pain. I don't like being sad. I don't like crying. I don't like <laughs> anything like that. So if I have to go through troubles, let me go through troubles in God, not through because I want to do whatever I want to do or be evil or whatever else. I pray that this makes sense. God bless.